Hello, hello, my lovely. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am giving you my finale update on the Team Project Pen 2021. I don't have all the products here because you may notice I am in a slightly different background than usual. I will do a video on that, talking all about that, but I have to check with the person that is also involved if they are okay with me doing that or what they want me to share and not. So that is something. If this is your first time here, then hi, welcome. My name is Anne Chris and I love to play with colorful makeup. As you can see today, I'm also wearing a colorful look. I'm playing with the Ace Beauty palette uh, Falling For You. But I always try to keep my looks a little bit more wearable so you can actually wear color every day. I also do a lot of reviews, hauls. I also love to play with my old favorites. So if this is something that sounds interesting to you, then please consider subscribing. Normally I upload three times a week, um, but right now it's a bit bumbly. So just forgive me for that, but right now it's a bit, it's a bit up in the air. All right. You can see this is such a perk of having my bed right here. Denver is so tired that he's over there. Can you see him? My little precious. Okay, I'm going to dive into the, um, uh, the Team Project Pen uh, products I have. Um, I have a spreadsheet I always have in front of me and I start off with primer and I'm trying to pen two uh, primers. This is the MAC Prep and Prime in Radiant or Radiant yellow, I think it is. I um, am at 47.5 grams right now. And in total, I used 28.7 grams of this product. I have a bit of a drippy nose, apparently. What's happening? Um, so yeah, I have been blowing along with this one. I feel it's almost empty, but I, I can't tell. But I am going to put it back into my stash. I probably will be working on it um, coming next year because I will be doing a project pen next year as well. Oh my God, I have a drippy nose. Not a good sign in these days. Then I also try to pen this little mini of the Smashbox Photo Finish. It's a smoothing and blurring uh, primer. I use it primarily around my nose because I have somewhat enlarged uh, pores. Um, I am at 4.3 grams right now and I used 3.1 grams in total. Um, and I think I should be... I should be able to pen these two at the beginning of next year fairly easily. So yeah, I'm just going to try and plot through them. Um, then I have the number seven Stay Perfect foundation. I must say I have really been enjoying using this foundation. I have used a total of 8.8 .8 grams in the last few months. I started it in September. Um, it is at 136 grams right now. The only thing that is bugging me and uh, which gives me like reason to get rid of it is the pump is not working very well. So I have to pump a lot to get even a little bit out. So I think it's just broken. Which is a bit of a shame because it is a really nice foundation. If you have access to number seven, this is seriously one you should try. I have found that if you use a little bit, it's a lot better and a lot more pretty and a lot more like luminous and skin like on the skin than if you put a lot on because if you put a lot on it can look cakey very easily especially when you use powder as well i must say i have really enjoyed using that then i'm going over to concealer i have been working on this <laughs> concealer for ages this is the uh, max factor face finity all day flawless concealer and it's in a slightly yellow tone it's the shade 020 it is quite yellow as you can see um, and it's not, it's, I think it is a really nice concealer. It's pigment, it is pigmented enough. The finish is really skin-like. It doesn't really crease that much on me. And I have some lines under my eyes, so it has every reason to, to crease, basically. So I must say I really enjoyed it. It's just the color is a bit off for me. And also, I don't know if you can see, if it wants to focus, then you probably can. The cap is broken. So this is going out of my collection. I want to film a like best products of uh, Max Factor and I want to decide if I want to put this in. So I'm going to keep it for now, but I'm not going to use it anymore because the cap is broken. So I have a good reason to get rid of it. I used two grams of this product in total. I am at 19.2 grams right now. So I think I did really good. Then I have also started to work on, and that is, uh, I think in September. The last few months have been a bit iffy and weird. As I said, I will explain later. So I haven't been using a lot of makeup and I haven't been using a lot of this either. This is the Colourpop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Creamy Concealer and it's in the shade Light 40N. This is quite light for me, but I don't mind it if I use it first. If I use it first and then I put my concealer or my foundation on, I can pat the foundation a little bit over the concealer. So 
I must say I have been enjoying it. The formula is quite nice though. It's really creamy. I think it stays on really nicely. The coverage is decent but because it's a bit too light i have a feeling the coverage is better when you have a shade that is more matched to your skin tone um i used 0.3 grams of this this year um well when i started it in september up until now and it weighs 33.2 grams right now okay then i'm going over to powder i have been using this powder i started this powder at the beginning of the year it was almost full and I must say, I have made great, great progress. I want to finish half of this bottle because um, I want to get some use out of it. It's not an expensive um, setting powder. It's very boring setting powder, but I must say, I really like this. I think it is a really nice powder. It's really finely milled. You can really... You have to be careful not to use too much because it can look cakey. But if you put some Fix Plus over it, then you're fine. So I must say, I really enjoy this powder. I don't mind it. It's just a bit boring. It's in a boring packaging. You have to tip it out to put it on your face. I don't really like loose powders that much anymore. So I think I'm going to work through all my loose powders and then see what I want to go. I want to see if I can you know cross over to pressed powders but i haven't found my holy grail in that yet because i have i think one right now that's a charlotte tilbury one and don't tell anybody but i don't really like that one not that much it's not that great i think this is better did i say that did I? Oh my God. I said that i said it i said it to me i think this is better okay what does it come down to in like weight? Um, I've used 14.1 grams. I think it's quite a lot though. 14.1 grams through the whole year because I am at 83.7 grams right now and I started it at 97.8. So I must say I'm really proud of myself. And I'm also, because I want to get a little bit more feel for all the products I have in my collection. Um, I've also started to work on this Hourglass Veil powder it's a translucent setting powder it is i thought it was going to be way more luminous than it is because if you i if i look at it through the like milky glass it looks really um more glowy and in my in my imagination apparently um it is very glowy it isn't really that glowy it's just a setting powder and i must say it's very finely milled i do like it um, so I must, yeah, this is, this is nice. I buff with this powder, but I think that if I might next year, just, just work on this one, finish that one, and then carry on with the RCMA later on, just to take a break for the RCMA one. But I don't know for sure yet. I will decide in January somewhere. Um, I've used half a gram of this and that was also my goal. So I'm kind of proud of myself. I used half a gram, but I am going to bring it back, I think, next year. Just to get rid of it, because it's too mini as well, so... Um, then, I was working on two face palettes, but one I forgot to weigh. So I can't really tell you anything about, like, how much I um, use. But the first one I did weigh, it's the MAC um, Pretty Shiny Things, I believe it's called. Shiny Pretty Things, well... Potato, potato. Um, nice palette. I must say, I really do like the bronzer. I do like the um, highlighter. The, the blush is cute. It's a coral blush. It's it's cute. It's nice. It's old, but it's nice. It still works. Um, I used uh, 0.3 grams of this. And I must say, I think that is because I wasn't reaching for this one as much as I was reaching for my hourglass one. I don't know what happened. I uh, put this in my project. It was in my project pen drawer. Like I have a designated drawer so I can take it out, take out the products easily. And I didn't weigh it. Don't ask me why. So yeah, I've been using it. It's pretty, it, it's nice. It's pretty. It has like, we know hourglass. We know there can be assholes as well. So maybe we shouldn't be talking too much about them. But yeah, it's, it's the unlock palette. People know. People know. Okay, then I am going over to bronzer because I was trying to use up and it <laughs> I didn't succeed. <laughs> I didn't succeed. I was trying to use up the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand, this bay bay. The reason why I'm trying to use this up is because it's not, not necessarily my favorite. It's not bad by any means, but it's not, I think I like cream, uh, my cream, um, bronzer i have from milk a lot more than i like this one it is a contour one so it's not a bronzer by any means but it's it is a bit too red i think for contour it does chisel you 
I don't know, man. I think it is not as great as people are saying. So I want to pen this because it is expensive and I want to use I want to use it up. So I'm going to put it in my project uh, next year as well. I used a 0.6 grams right now because I am at 20 grams at the moment. Then I'm going over into blush and I don't know. I must say there was a lot going on so I um, in my life and I forgot to weigh this as well. So I am doing great baby sweetie darling. No. Um, this is the By Terry. I think it's called Desert Sun is it? Sun Desire sure. Desert Sun. Well, I got the sun part right, but this is Sun Desire and this is a beautiful, stunning little blusher with a teensy bit of highlighter in here. It is so cute. I will, I can't really show you, I think, because the lighting is not perfect because I am, you know, I can't show you, can I? It's like... It's like a corally highlighting thing and then more of a rosy blush and it gives you like a very nice I'm wearing um, What's it called the space H highlighter from Kaleidos because they are releasing that new one and I thought it was It was cool with my eye look because there's green in that highlighter as well You know thoughts and the things um, um, I um, yeah, I really this is I'm rambling. I'm rambling. I'm sorry. This is a blusher that is really nice if you just want something that is one and done. It also chisels you a little bit if you have my my skin tone or lighter. Then it also gives you some chiseling or some shape to your face. It gives you a little bit of a highlight. So this is kind of a one and done product. If I'm running late and I only put on a little bit of foundation and I put this over it, I'm done. It's good. I'm done. I don't need anything else. But I can tell you how much I use. It is 22.3 grams right now, but I have no clue how much I use because I um, didn't weigh it before. And I must say I'm a little bit bummed about that because I did use a lot of it. I know, I know because I used it a lot. So, <sighs> oh my gosh. Then I'm going over to Benefit Cookie. This is this highlighter. We all know it. It is a stunning, beautiful little highlighter. Um, I used 0.1 grams up until now, which I think is not that weird for a highlighter. You don't go through those very quickly, but at least I'm working on one. Then I am going to my MAC Paintly Paint Pop. My hair is bugging me a little bit. It's too greasy basically to film with it, but yeah, I'm just going to ignore it for now. I am yay far. If I had been wearing a little bit more makeup these last few months, then I probably would have been able to pen this fully, but I haven't. And before I pen it fully, I want to do a ranking of all my eyeshadow primers. And I have to hurry because I am very deep down in the like gradders of this little product. I used 3.7 grams because I am at 49.1 grams right now and it's just going to carry over into my next. I'm going to take it into my project next year because I want to finish it and it's going to happen organically and it's fun to have something that you can finish easily in your project. Then I am going over to the Stila Light is um, Shimmering Glow. I always forget. This is in the shade Cloud. It's like a beautiful purple with a golden shift do i say that yeah it's like a lavender with a golden shift it's really pretty i really love this i just wanted to get some use out of it and i did it's just not showing <laughs> because i was <coughs> because i was at 34.1 grams when i started it and i'm still at the same weight so um yeah but i did use a lot of my little inglot uh, 328 setter like setter setting eyeshadow like look at this the pen is humongous but i'm still not there but i used two grams in total i am at 44 no 4.4 grams right now so i'm doing good um and then the last um palette i took into my uh, project i i think i used two four six eight in total i used eight of these um eyeshadow palettes in my project this year i wanted to do 12 but i think i only introduced them later didn't i yeah i only started to think of this in march and then yeah so i have eight <laughs> i used eight and then uh, i didn't i think i pulled this in september to use in october and then i didn't pull a new one in november but this is a very fun little palette i think it is getting discontinued or the original dreaming 
Dreamy one is discontinued. I don't know for sure. Soul Blooming is discontinued, which is a bummer. That is a beautiful, fun little uh, spring palette, but I digress. Um, I use 0.6 grams of this. I have been enjoying it a lot. I am going to do a video ranking all of these eight palettes I use for my team project, but I think I'm going to just make it short and snappy. Maybe I even make it a short, but I am going to see what I, how I want to do that. But I think it's fun to look back on uh, how I've been enjoying those um, eyeshadow palettes. Um, and I will be doing something with my eyeshadow palettes uh, in my project pen next year. But I think I'm just going to... And it might be a little bit like ambitious. But I think I'm going to take one brand and use all the palettes in that brand. Or from that brand in my project for the full month. But I have to think... <laughs> If that is going to be a project pen thing or just a standalone thing, let me know. Would you want me to do that as a standalone project or would you say, no, just put them in your project pen and uh, we'll hear what you think of the palettes and I can rank them then. I, I Let me know. Let me know what you want to see, how you want me to do that, because I think that is um, the easiest way and the most important way. You have to watch the video, so... You can decide. Moving on to my Legendary Lashes by Charlotte Tilbury. This is the volume two. This is a mini and that is I think why I don't like it that much. It doesn't really do that much for my lashes. I think it is the wand is good. The wand is the one I would like and uh, I usually prefer in a mascara because it coats all the lashes but this one it doesn't really because I think the Maybe the formula is a little bit too wet. I don't know what happens, but I have to work really hard to get some on my lashes and to make it look a little, well, like something. And with this very short stubby wand, it is messy. It is messy. So um, I'm going to get rid of it. I was going to get rid of it because I've used it for three months. So I was going to get rid of it anyway, but I really want to get rid of it. The Anastasia uh, Lash Brack is still in my drawer. I should get rid of it, but I'm, I really do enjoy that mascara. Um, I have used 0.6 grams of this. All right, then I'm going over to my brow product. I have been using this Max Factor, and it's totally wiped away. Fill and Shape in, in Soft Brown. That is the shade 02. And I only use this part, like the pencil part of this product. There's also... Like a pomade or a powder thingy at the end. Like this. Uh, yeah, like this. But as you can see, my brows are fairly decent. So I don't really use anything else than just a very slim pencil. I am really enjoying this palette. So this is of a palette product. So this is probably going into that like what I love from Max Factor um, video as well. I have used 0 0.8 centimeters right now because I am at 2.1 centimeters. Um, and I started it three months ago, so I'm doing I'm doing okay with this. Seeing the considering how much I have been using makeup as a whole, then um, I have a lip liner. Yeah, I have a lip liner, but this is this is a lip liner slash lip product in one. It's like a stubby pencil from Nars. It's in Doomy Baby, I believe. Doomy Baby, yeah. It is really beautiful. It is a very soft formula and it's almost like a cherry type of red. It, it reminds me of cherries somehow. I don't know. I have been enjoying it. Um, I didn't use a lot because, you know, it's like you would have to use it every day a lot and reapply stuff like that to really get some use out of this. I want to use one centimeter, but I only used 0 0.2 uh, centimeters at the moment. So I probably will uh, put it in my project next year. Because I think it's a nice full color. Then for lipstick, I am working on the Bite Date lipstick. But I have no clue where it went. Like, no clue. So I'm sorry, I can't really give you any... I have been using it, but I can't give you any update on it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Then the next thing is my Gerard uh, Cosmetics... What's it called? Setting spray. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I have this little bit left, but... Yeah, I, I didn't succeed. I think if I use it twice, then it's gone. So I'm almost done. I will finish it this year. So I practically can say that I'm done and I used it up and I hit my goal. But yeah, in total, I would have used, um, no, in total, I have used 71.1 grams right now. So I'm going good with this one. 
And then do I have anything left? I don't think so because I have the Elisab Le Parfum. Don't know where it is, can't tell you. And uh, I also have the Rituals Glow Oil and I have no clue where that went either. So guys, that is it for today. That is it for this video. I am going to film a video on how I want to do my project next year. I think I also want to do like a top drawer type of top drawer kind of project as a shop my stash, but do it every quarter because I am noticing, um, especially with my move here, that a lot of the products I own, I really love. I don't feel the need to pan. And um, at the other hand, I'm not using them enough. So I want to do something like having a top drawer that I switch out every season, like every quarter, every season, I switch products out because it's more suited for winter, fall, summer, spring. Um, and then give you a rundown on if they are going to stay in my top drawer because I love them so much or is it going back into my collection. Yeah, I am going to think of stuffs. I am going to let you know what I want to do. I'm going to let you know uh, next month. I also want to go through my collection and see what is still missing. Um, I don't necessarily, I'm not necessarily going to do a declutter because I don't think I need to. As I said, I have seen that I don't um, have a lot of product I want to get rid of at the moment, but I do feel like there are some gapes and some holes in like my lipsticks and my blushes. I just want to see what is still missing. I have quite a large collection, but I, I think there's still room for some little tweaks and dandies and well, we will see. I will make a video about that uh, soon or a few videos probably. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I would love to see you in my next one. Bye.